Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we're going to restore a Hot Wheels spoiler series, Sugar Caddy. Now, obviously, this is based on a Cadillac, and uh, it's actually a pretty darn cool car. These were all manufactured in Hong Kong. All of the spoiler series cars were manufactured in Hong Kong. And um, we're going to have a lot of fun with this today, so join me as we go through and start tearing the car apart and preparing it for a restoration. Let's get started. I've already drilled out the posts on the car so we can take it apart easier. This also saves time and doesn't make the videos too lengthy. If you want to see a detailed video on how to take a car apart, check out one of my other videos or all of my other videos if you would and see how to do that. The body here is uh, pretty chewed up. There's a lot of flea bites to it and there's a lot of paint missing. The back end, uh, front end, excuse me, will be painted again in black. The interior is in darn good shape. Just needs a little bit of uh, soap and water to clean that up. The engine is in good shape. It's still really shiny. And the engine also is one of the posts. So we'll clean that up and reinstall that. The glass, I noticed, is scratched up. We're going to try and polish it as best we can. But I also noticed that the glass here is very brittle. Now the base, I'm looking at the wheels, and the wheels are actually in pretty darn good shape. These are the cap tires, but I'm really thinking we're going to reuse these. And of course we'll have to repaint the lights on the back. We'll just take a wire brush to it and clean it up. Alright, let's get started. Here we're putting the body into some paint stripper using citrus strip, which I purchased at Walmart. It's about $11 for a bottle. Do yourself a favor and don't buy any of the spray cans. Now, yes, they work, but right on the can and on the bottle and everything, it says no harsh fumes. Well, when I bought the can originally, man, I'll tell you, when I sprayed it, it about choked me out. It's uh, really, really nasty fumes, so if you can, and there's more than one thing available, don't buy this product. All right, we got it coated pretty good. We'll have to let it set. Meanwhile, back in the graveyard. I let it sit for a few hours, and I've also got a few other projects going on here. I've got a Corgi, a police car I'm redoing. I'm doing a custom dairy delivery for a friend. And uh, I got the sugar caddy in here, of course. Well, the paint stripper... There was no effort there. It took the paint off with no issues at all. And then once we get all the paint off this, then we're going to have to take them to the sink and scrub them down and then use a uh, wire brush to clean everything up. And if you feel so inclined, you go ahead and polish it up and make it super shiny. This one here, the body was in such good shape, I didn't need to polish it out and the paint still turned out fantastic. Just take your brush, your good stiff brush here, and flip it around inside your paint stripper. And make sure you get the inside really good too, especially if you're going to change the color. It would really uh, take away from your restoration if the whole top half of the car was red and you could still see blue when you look inside the car and up underneath the wheels and stuff like that. So don't do a half-assed restoration. Do it all the way. Looking good. Let's get ready for paint. Now we're going to paint. First off, of course, you put a few light coats on there. This is called the Tack Coat. I'm using Nitro Flame paint from Bright Vision. I love this color blue. Make sure that when you're painting, you follow the manufacturer's specifications exactly. If you want the paint to look good, need to follow the exact directions that the manufacturer recommends. Now while we're at it here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and then go ahead and click on that little bell so you'll be alerted to any future videos. So you'll want to put those light coats on like I was saying. 
just enough to give it a mist over the top and then you want to let it set for a few minutes to set up that's enough a little later now that we've let it sit up we're gonna give it a good paint job here so again just a few more light coats and then we're gonna start to put a little bit more paint on now you want to make the paint look wet but you don't want to saturate it if that makes sense if you can get your paint job to look wet but not run then you've hit exactly where you need to be the, the only way to do this or the way I do it is to build up layers and build up coats now you may have to put four or five coats on there and I don't mean stopping and remixing another whole container of paint put a coat on and then just keep rotating don't let it get so wet that it will drip this is really really starting to look nice <clears throat> trying a new camera method here so I apologize for the car not being in the shot the whole time and this is how it turned out after sitting for a day that blue you can almost reach inside the paint and touch the body that paint from nitro nitro flame paint from bright vision is wonderful brightvisionwheels.com get on there buy your paint buy your hardener buy your reducer and start spraying now here's all the parts we got their beautifully restored paint job on this car the windscreen was all polished up as best as we could. Some of those scratches were pretty deep. And again, the windscreen was very brittle, so I didn't want to push it. The engine here is in good shape. We cleaned it up a little bit. It didn't need too much, and it is one of the posts. Now the base. The base was in good shape. I took a little bit of a wire brush to it. But the wheels do look really good. If you don't need to replace the wheels, don't do it. Why spend the money? Now, if you really want them to look super brand new and everything, then go for it. It's, uh, it was a lot of fun doing this one. And this will definitely add to my Spoilers series collection. Also painted that taillight on the back using a Sharpie paint marker. And this is how we started. This Cadillac Sugar Caddy from Hot Wheels. It's been played with, well played with. Um, oh, hey, we don't want to do that. Put that car back on there. It's been well played with. So it needs to be restored. Now, some people will put these in their collection, and they won't touch them. They say, well, you know, once you restore them, you take away the value. Guys, these are only toys. Now, if you want a really nice collection, get in there and restore the damn things. If you have a car that's still in a blister pack and it's on cardboard and it's in really good shape, then yeah, it's worth money. But you see these prices on eBay and they're just ridiculous what they're asking for these cars nowadays. Incredible. So restore away. And this is what we got to. A beautifully restored Hot Wheels Sugar Caddy. Um, definitely... A car that someone would be very proud to have in their collection I know I am the blue paint is fantastic again go on to brightvisionwheels.com and order the paint very very good product follow the directions exactly as they say on the paper that he'll send you when he sends you these products the wheels again were in very good shape we didn't need to replace those we polished up the glass as best we could Again, I told you it was brittle, so I didn't want to push it, but uh, it's beautiful. Thanks for joining me here today on Diecast Graveyard. I've got a couple of other builds here coming up for Halloween, and you're going to have a chance to win one of those cars, so stay tuned. These videos will be released Wednesday morning, October 30th. Thanks again for coming to Diecast Graveyard. Have a great day.